Hello, this is Tom at Spinatron yet again. We covered in another video how to add users. Just to recap, there are two ways to add users. We can do it administratively, or we can set up the security question and answer, and then DJs can create accounts themselves. In this video, we'll take a closer look at managing users, and we'll cover how to manage DJ profiles, user accounts, and permissions. Take a look at this menu in the top right. Every logged on user has something like it. In the nav bar, it shows my DJ name and station ID in parentheses. A person can be a DJ at more than one station. For example, I'm a DJ at this test station X and at WZBC, and I can switch to my WZBC persona with this item in the menu. Here's my home page at WZBC. Here's WZBC schedule, switch back. Home page, test, and their schedule. Back to the home page. I get to my DJ profile and user account also through this menu. The user account has information about the person independent of the DJ profiles. These fields are not public. Any user logged into your station can see other users' real names, but the email and phone fields are visible only to admins and the account owner. A DJ profile has information about the person's position at your station. All the fields here are public, get published on the website, and they are optional. Now, as an admin, you can manage the user accounts and DJ profiles of your station staff. Choose users in the top nav to get the list of all the users. You can sort and filter on these columns like this, or like this or even like this. Access the user's DJ profile with the pencil icon. Access the user account with this link above the form. In the user account, name identifies the person who owns the user account. Email is used for login, and phone can be useful when you need to authenticate a user to be sure that an account really belongs to who you think it should. Now, beware of changing anything here without good reason. Remember, one user account can have multiple DJ profiles, because that person might DJ at more than one station. For example, Han Voigt here DJs at more than one station. And there's a warning right here. It's usually better to let the user update anything here, but you might need to in unusual circumstances. For example, if the DJ is locked out of an old email address and has forgotten their password as well. You can also change the password in the second form down here, but be careful. Don't let anyone talk you into changing their password over the phone or by text or by email or whatever, because social engineering is just way too easy. Now we need to talk about roles. That is, what role does a particular user have at your station and the permissions that go with those roles. We have the user, the editor, and the admin as the main role. So a user, this will be most of your DJs, and a user can create, edit, and delete their own content. DJ profile, their own shows, and their own playlists. An editor, in addition to the user's permissions, can also edit and delete any show and playlist. And an admin, in addition to what an editor can do, can manage DJ profiles, user accounts, and station settings. There's also the special roles of the new user, which is a temporary initial role for self-service created accounts. You change the new user to one of the other roles after you authenticate the person behind the new user account. Then there's the disabled user account, in which the user's content remains, but uh, the login is locked out. All right, let's wrap this up by showing you how to change user's permissions. Back on the Manage Users page, three ways to do it. One of them, click on the role like that. Click the checkbox if you want to put it back, no problem. You can also do it on the user profile page. Like that. And back on the user's page. And if you need to do a number of them all together, for example, at the beginning of the semester, if you've got a new intake of student DJs, you might do something like this. This isn't exactly the case, but you get the idea. You can check a whole bunch of them, uncheck one of them, and then change these all at once with that button. Well, thanks for watching.